The dreams I'm about to share and analyze today date back to 2021. I vividly recall having these dreams in early 2021 when President Joe Biden had recently been sworn in as the President of the United States following a controversial election against President Donald J. Trump. Against the backdrop of political polarization, there was also a prevailing sense of anxiety and uncertainty due to the ongoing global pandemic. I will describe both dreams before offering my interpretation. Dream 1. In this dream, the night was dark and stormy, with military troops present issuing evacuation orders that induced fear among the citizens. As I navigated through the area, I caught a glimpse of President Trump addressing a select group of people. The storm made it difficult to hear clearly, but I distinctly remember him pointing towards the horizon where a beautiful church stood. The dream transitioned to an outside hallway of the church where a towering statue of the Virgin Mary was positioned. I recall recognizing that I was in Russia at the moment. Suddenly, a large pool of blood splashed onto the statue, creating a haunting visual reminiscent of a scene from The Shining. The final part of the dream depicted President Trump appearing somewhat distressed. He opened a door, entered, and locked it behind him. Dream 2 The dream occurred later in 2021, approximately eight months into Joe Biden's presidency. During this period, concerns were mounting over issues such as illegal immigration, inflation, the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan, and soaring gas prices. Like many other Americans, I found myself struggling to comprehend the direction our country was taking. In this dream, I encountered President Joe Biden alone. Approaching him respectfully, I asked, Joe, why are you doing this? To my surprise, President Biden responded, I'm just the antagonist. I will now endeavor to interpret these dreams based on my perceptions and experiences. It is important to note that my interpretation does not seek to sway or favor any political beliefs. Instead, it is an exploration of my psyche and an analysis of how these dreams have impacted my personal growth. Assuming that my experience is occurring on a collective consciousness level would be inappropriate without hearing similar dreams from others. As I reflect on both dreams nearly two years later, I've concluded that Donald Trump and Joe Biden are playing roles or characters in my story, the journey toward individualization. Each of us have a unique story filled with various characters and challenges. In my personal narrative, both Donald Trump and Joe Biden are equally essential in propelling my story forward, and they serve as forces that enable the progression of my story. It is necessary to recognize that in every story, there needs to be an inciting incident and obstacles that keep the protagonist moving. These external forces propel us towards our journey. Without them, the protagonist has nothing to react to. To illustrate this, we can draw a parallel with Newton's law of motion. An object at rest remains at rest, and an object in motion remains in motion at a constant speed and in a straight line unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. It is through these external forces that significant development of growth can arise. So dream one, analysis. Clear imagery of evacuation, military, and bloodshed evokes a sense of anxiety about an incoming war or catastrophe. On an individual level, I've always seen this dream as a complex interplay of authority, spirituality, personal fears, and inner conflicts. For instance, the dark and stormy night in the dream may represent a sense of chaos, uncertainty, or emotional turbulence in my life that I would be facing. The presence of military troops and evacuation orders suggest a perceived threat or the need to protect myself, which induces fear and anxiety. The sea of blood that washes through the Virgin Mary statue seems to imply a warning of the incoming loss of many innocent people on a surface level. According to Carl Jung, on a symbolic scale, religious figures such as the Virgin Mary are expressions of archetypal patterns that are deeply ingrained in the human psyche. While Jung did not specifically analyze the Virgin Mary, he did discuss the archetype of the Great Mother or the Divine Feminine. The Great Mother represents femininity's nurturing, compassionate, and protective aspects. It is possible to interpret the Virgin Mary as an embodiment of the Great Mother archetype due to her role as the mother of Jesus in her portrayal as a figure of love, mercy, and intercession. The statue's presence may represent a longing for spiritual solace, protection, or a connection to feminine qualities within the psyche. Conversely, blood can symbolize various things, including life force, vitality, sacrifice, or violence. If we combine these symbols, a dream featuring a statue of the Virgin Mary covered in a sea of blood may suggest a clash or a conflict between the ideal qualities represented by the Virgin Mary and some darker, more primal, or violent aspects of the psyche. It could represent an internal struggle or tension between one's spiritual or idealistical values 
and more instinctual primal forces. The appearance of President Trump in the dream could symbolize authority, power, or aspects of leadership, but was perceived President Trump as a strong leader. He appears at the beginning and the end of the dream. In the beginning, he addresses a select group of people in the midst of the storm, which could represent a focus on charismatic or influential figures during times of crisis. His pointing towards a beautiful church on the horizon suggests a connection between leadership, spiritual symbolism, and a sense of direction or guidance in challenging times. At the end of the dream, President Trump appears distressed and enters a locked room. This may indicate a sense of personal unease or the need for seclusion and introspection. Keep in mind that Donald Trump lost the election. A big reason for his loss was because of the complaints that people had about him about his attitude and ego. The greatest leaders in the world can understand their faults to improve them. Donald Trump entering the dark locked room can symbolize a leader needing to reflect upon his qualities. Now I'm not suggesting Donald Trump did any sort of self-reflection. Remember, Donald Trump is perceived as a leader in my psyche. Perhaps the dream suggests the need for me to reflect on my ego and dive deeper into the feminine qualities of my psyche to be a great leader. One might speculate that the dream was prophetic, warning of the upcoming war between Russia and Ukraine almost a year later. However, it's challenging for me to support this conclusion since it was assumed that the symbolic figures in my dream had universal recognition on the collective consciousness level. While it is tempting to agree with this theory, it encounters issues related to the symbolic placement of Donald Trump in the dream and his role in the collective consciousness. The President of the United States typically plays a significant role in the psyche of the collective consciousness, symbolizing leadership, power, and strength. The issue arises because in 2021, Donald Trump is no longer the president, which removes him from representing the president archetype. Therefore, his symbolic presence in the dream seems to result from personal projection based on individual belief systems. For example, the leadership qualities that resonate with me are projected onto Donald Trump. However, for someone else, leadership may be projected onto a different person who better aligns with their criteria. The only other possibility that sustains the prophetic dream theory is to entertain the notion that Donald Trump was warning us about the impending dangers and the war that would occur if President Biden were elected. One can recall Donald Trump's predictions about the perils that would befall America under Biden's presidency. In the dream, it almost seems as though Donald Trump's words go unheard, and as a result, he removes himself from society perhaps disappointed in his inability to change the outcome. While this notion is intriguing to consider, I struggle to discern the purpose of the dream. What purpose would Trump being right serve in this dream? In my opinion, this sort of vision does nothing for the collective growth of society because there's no lesson to learn here. Therefore, while the dream may not have a clear lesson or collective growth aspect for society, it holds immense potential for my personal growth and self-discovery. To conclude, I found that the dream suggests an opportunity to reflect and explore my authority, spirituality, and inner conflicts. I believe the presence of President Trump symbolizes power and leadership, urging me to reflect upon my relationship with authority and uncover any insecurities or vulnerabilities that may hinder my growth as a leader. The submerged statue of the Virgin Mary in a sea of blood signifies a clash between idealistic value and instinctual forces within myself, urging me to integrate feminine qualities of compassion, protection, and nurturing into my psyche. The dream's portrayal of chaos and emotional turbulence invites me to confront my fears and anxieties, fostering resilience and strength. I engage in introspection and self-reflection. Perhaps I can cultivate a more balanced and authentic approach to leadership, spirituality, and life's challenges, leading to profound personal growth and self-discovery. To conclude Dream One's analysis, I'd like to share a poem that I wrote about this dream. It's called Saint Basil's Cathedral. There's an old church surrounded by the Black Sea, where a statue of the Virgin Mary stands strong. Our past president kneels in prayer and pleas, where a sea of blood washes along. The black boots herd 100,000 to the gate. No one dares to question their demands. Our past president shouts, but it is too late. No faith can wash the blood from his hands. The Virgin Mary is bloodied and tearful as the 100,000 march to their demise. Our past president is fearful that too few will recognize the lie. Dream 2 Analysis To understand what Joe Biden meant by I'm the antagonist, we first must understand what precisely an antagonist is, a character or force in a story that opposes or creates conflict for the protagonist, who is the main character or the one with whom the audience typically sympathizes. The antagonist is often seen as the primary source of obstacles, challenges, or opposition. 
protagonists must overcome to achieve their goals or fulfill their desires. The antagonist can take various forms, such as another character, a group of characters, nature, society, or even an internal struggle within the protagonist. They serve to create tension, raise stakes, and drive the narrative forward by providing obstacles and conflicts that the protagonist must confront. It's important to note that the role of the antagonist doesn't necessarily imply that they are evil or morally wrong. Antagonists can have complex motivations and differing perspectives or represent opposing forces or ideas. They are essential in creating dramatic tension and providing the protagonist with challenges to overcome, thereby allowing for character growth and the advancement of the story. In this dream, Joe Biden assumes the role of the president archetype. It is often the case that praise and blame for any occurrences during a president's four-year term are immediately attributed to the Oval Office, like a company's CEO. This dream took place in 2021, a time when our country was grappling with pressing issues such as illegal immigration, record high inflation, and soaring gas prices. Some argue that our country has only worsened in the two years since. However, it's essential to note that I can only speak from a personal perspective, as I am uncertain how others perceive President Biden. Personally, I believe he has done a poor job as the President of the United States. Nevertheless, he has played a significant role in my personal development. The negativity associated with Joe Biden has elicited various responses impacting me economically, mentally, and spiritually. For instance, since Joe Biden assumed office, I have wanted to delve deeper into the history of America. Over the past few years, I have developed a keen interest in reading books about America's past presidents and political science. I intend to be well educated on the foundation and laws of our country, gaining a better understanding of its history. Prior to President Biden's tenure, I took for granted the freedoms and opportunities that America has provided. Economically, inflation has taken a toll on my finances, affecting me in two direct ways. First, it has made me more conscious of my spending habits. We live in a society that revolves around consumerism, often leading to excessive consumption. In many ways, inflation has prompted me to reevaluate what is truly necessary for survival and happiness. Additionally, inflation has compelled me to explore alternative options to fiat money, such as Bitcoin, which has propelled my desire to learn more about cryptocurrencies resulting in a job opportunity. On a spiritual level, my relationship with God has deepened significantly. It is often during times that we perceive as dark and hopeless many of us turn to a higher power to seek solace and find the strength to overcome challenges. In this regard, my journey with President Biden's presidency has led me to a greater appreciation for the blessing and joy's presence in my life. It has taught me the importance of being fully present and living in the moment rather than being consumed by worries and concerns that are often trivial in the grand scheme of things. I have found myself liberated from the burden of insignificant worries that used to weigh me down. It is as if I have been stripped down to the core of my being free from man-made anxieties and pressures that society tends to impose upon us. As I mentioned earlier, an antagonist creates tension, raises stakes, and drives the narrative forward by providing obstacles and conflicts for the protagonist to confront. In many ways, Joe Biden has been one of the most influential external forces in my life, serving as a catalyst for personal growth. The challenges and experience associated with his presidency have allowed me to grow in various aspects. By encountering and navigating the obstacles presented during this period, I have gained a deeper understanding of my own values, beliefs, and aspirations. President Biden's actions and policies have compelled me to reflect on my own stance and engage in meaningful conversations about the direction of our country. Through this process, I have developed greater self-awareness, resilience, and the ability to critically evaluate and question the world around me. While my perception of Joe Biden's performance as president may be negative, I recognize his significant role in shaping my personal development and growth. In summary, I like to conclude on this. Through the challenges and conflicts presented by the external forces, such as political leaders, we can uncover our strengths, values, and capacity for growth. The experience and lessons learned through this time have left a lasting impact on me, allowing me to navigate life with a newfound sense of purpose and clarity. I believe that humanity will look back and realize that Donald Trump and Joe Biden served as two of the most influential presidents in our lifetime, not because of their contributions to America, but because of their impact on the collective consciousness.